Lavender, hello, welcome. More clock hands. Grasshopper, musical symbol. The tapestry is hiding a secret. It's hiding a puzzle. Place the clock hands on the clock faces. To line up all the numbers, right click the hands to rotate them. Oh, we can rotate. There are two different clock faces. This could be challenging, guys. Or not. I take it back. <laughs> it's pretty easy. It looks challenging, but it's actually not. There, done. Ooh, a secret! Oh, we found a syringe! A lethal dose of morphine. A lethal dose. But that doesn't make sense. That's suicide note. Right? This is supposed to be morphine. Malias is not guilty at all. Who wrote this note? Hmm. Also discover a syringe up with a lethal dose of morphine next to this man. A doctor wouldn't overdose a morphine accidentally. Definitely. A murder, guys. This is a murder. Not a suicide. Fire is still burning. Ooh, all I know is no one from the outside knew about the secret chambers. And we are here. In the secret area. Diversity of fish. Another lot. Oh, the same door that we came from, guys. Yes, the same puzzle from the other side. Caduceus ring. The aquarium is too dark to search. There must be a way to switch on the tank light by fixing the panel here. This power panel. Light bulb missing. Adam, hello, welcome to the stream. On the floor, I found a curious fishing book with a diagram inside. I'm holding on to it, something tells me I'll need it. The secret door that led to the chambers closed automatically behind me. I was not pleased to find that the lock mechanism is broken on the side, meaning I am trapped in the narrow corridor.
Like, if I don't have a key... A glass cutter. I don't think we're cutting the aquarium, guys. <laughs> I don't think so. But we do need a light bulb, though. Okay, we can uh, go deeper into the hallway. Oh my god, is that thing living? <laughs> a strange creature, the one we saw in that photo, guys. I think he is alive. Okay, he just blinked. <laughs> and his mouth moved. He's alive. He's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> he was still a baby in the photo. Now he's a giant. Look at that. Alright, let's not get closer just yet. I will uh, just <laughs> examine him from afar. <laughs> he looks deadly, guys. Now the safe has a mechanical lock. Should it move the sea creature into the correct position? I think we have a clue for this. Okay, so... Hey, big fish! <laughs> the, is it one of the puzzle pieces, the big fish? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay, so we got four very specific ones. Here. One, two, three, dolphin is near the survey so. Ooh, there are no clicks. <laughs> this is a deep one, deep sea fish. With the light, the deepest. And then we have what else? That one, the fin. Near the surface, the jumping fish. Right at the top. And this uh normal looking one. Right here. Perfect! We are done. Light bulb. What is that? Ooh, I've been observing Gargantua. Is that his name? Gargantua? So you cannot believe he was grown from a common amphibian into an almost sentient being. With the help of an alchemy, he is rather naive and just a tad territorial. Memo, Gargantua is afraid of high-pitched sounds, aka whistling. Dog? Gargantua is his name. Gargantua. Hello, Gargantua. Can I tame you somehow? Can you be my friend? Gargantua. The painting is protected by thick glass. Not a problem. Oh. I need the correct one. Which one is the correct one? Maybe this one. Ah, there we go. A whistle! And what is that? Ooh! Malia's Voice, Lab Journal, Section 3, Artificial Giant Creation. Uh, the Triturus Vulgaris was selected as a creature source. The application of the here to follow unknown alchemical reagents produce these desired results. The Triturus, the Triturus Vulgaris successfully mutated into a gargantuan pseudo-humanoid form. The application of the growth's accelerator quickly brought the creature into adult stasis. Note, only in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine a real-life troll would troll the world of void. Years of hard work have finally paid off, and I am proud papa. I have named my kind but silly son Gargantua. P.S. My friend, Dr. Eisenspitz. <laughs> I'll go back crazy when he sees Gargantua. I wonder if those missing people are now in his stomach, <laughs> inside his body, perhaps even digested already, guys.
Did you eat all the missing people, Gargantua? Hopefully, he is full right now. Hopefully, I'm not. I'm not too uh, appealing, guys. <laughs> Alright, place each bulb in the callback socket. Pay attention to the wattage and the numbers on the panel. Okay, 100. We can do 60 and 40 here. This one is 220. can do 120 and 100. Two twenty. This one is two sixty. Is it two sixty? And we are done. The lights are on. Gordon Stone Tree. Hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? I'm on the menu. <laughs> Hopefully not, Jews. And a seahorse. I think we are doing the whistling eyes. Now, the chain of riddles solved one by one gave me access to the huge aquarium, where I found some useful items. All these tricky puzzles make me think that a very clever man was trying to keep his secrets from everyone, including those who had access to the mentioned secret chambers. Right now, my investigation yields more questions than answers. The painting was hiding a safe inside it. I think this was a doctor's secret place where he kept the evidence he collected. Seems to me he planned on showing the files and lab journal to the police as proof of the strange experiments performed in the void. However, he did not have time to realize his plan. This crazy scenario makes me think the doctor is somehow entangled in this mystery and try to fly the coup when he realized what was really going on. Yeah, possible guys. All right, you are blocking my way, so you need to get out of here. <laughs> Whoa, he broke through the wall. So is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is not a painting. It's outside. It's actually outside. He broke through the walls and now he's outside. Oh, the creature rammed through the measure wall, creating a gateway to the voice ground. He jumped everybody. And we have to lower ourselves down there too. Alright, we can go this way. Ooh! A dressing room in the void? The golden statue on the sofa looks familiar. Really, guys? The likeness of the magician Gerald Spring sounds hollow. What? He is now golden. What happened here? Jusuni, thank you for your continuing support. The statue bears a striking resemblance to Gerald Springs. Does somebody worship the illusionist as if he were an idol? I knocked on the creepy statue and found it hollow. A couple of cracks with the tool and I'll expose the secrets. 
made perhaps his actual body is inside the gold and statue. Are these people all dead? Three rings. Caduceus ring. Emerald ring. I'm happy that these items are very easy to find. <laughs> that's, all I have, that's all I have to say, guys. Definitely not on the same level as those found in uh, the older Mystery Case Files game. <laughs> those items are a lot harder to find. But I'm glad that these are easy here. Yeah. You all remember the early Mystery Case Files games, right? <laughs> those hidden object scenes we spent ages on. <laughs> Happy time here, guys. He makes his own exit. Yes. <laughs> we whistle him out of here, Jews. He liked that sound so much. Uh, alright, so... The last ring. The case has a false bottom. I have to figure out the lock to access this. Uh, switch to open. Spade and heart. Oh, easy. Rope ladder. There was a book in there. I was about to click on the book. Guess that's not important. <coughs> Golden statue. I think we need to crack it open, guys. All right, we are going after the gargantua. He looks like a giant baby. I bought him out of the mansion porch and ahead lay the woods in a neglected park. There is a park called a void, an amusement park, a hidden amusement park. Wow. We found a musty, uh, we found a monster broke the porch with it fall. However, his tracks indicate he is unharmed and headed for the amusement park. I'm glad he is safe. Kagantua may be dangerous, but he didn't do me any harm. No, oh, that is true. Gargantua is a giant baby. You can never remember how to do the puzzles. Uh, the last one? It's switching sides. So switch the pieces to the opposite side by jumping over them. So far so good, I am enjoying the storyline. Even though there are no characters here to meet. <laughs> But well, the, the storyline is, is interesting. At least we have missing people here. There is a mystery, there is an enigma to solve. Right, guys? We haven't talked to anyone yet in the game. <laughs> we found bodies, statues, and a monster. <laughs> but I'm liking this.
The big question is, will we find those people alive? In the end of the game? I don't know. Things are not looking good. <laughs> Their survival rate is pretty low right now. But perhaps there will be a miracle. And a coin. Final item. This is a mailbox key. Alright, I think we can... Can go to the amusement park. Giant gate is locked. Oh, oh the monster! Oh, didn't see him. <laughs> the monster is waiting for us. He's leading us to the park. Mahalia's effigy. Uh, he lived to see his name in light. It would kill him again to see the park like this. He has a private park called the Void. How cool is this? I uh, descended the top rope ladder and found the monster broke the porch with his fall. However, his tracks indicate he is unharmed and headed for the amusement park. I'm glad he is safe. The Ganshua may be dangerous, but he didn't do me any harm. I came upon a strange gate, the amusement park entrance. Funny thing is, it's not visible from the road because of the mansion's curve. Seems Void managed to plaster his image on everything. And though his portrait is in sorry shape, the monster disappeared behind the gates. And they closed with a bang. I must unlock them ASAP. If my sixth sense is right, this Frankenstein may lead me to some of the answers I see. Yes, I think that's what he's doing, guys. Hmm, the amusement park where everything is real. Meet trolls and other characters from the storybooks. See fantastic flora in Fairywood. The park is a place where myths come alive. And then we have uh, this cross our words, guys. The horror park. Meet the monsters where terror comes alive. Serious world. Hmm. Mr. Springs? <laughs> he is the one who crossed out these words and corrected. No. One of uh, the missing people, guys. Dear Mr. Void, I had a talk with your brother, Serious Void, today. I didn't like the sound of it one bit. Your brother wants to warp, wants to warp our magical amusement park. If he keeps interfering with our business, Roy's world will turn into the park of horrors. Take this as fair warning that your ingenious idea is in serious danger. Sincerely, the unamused Gerald Springs. P.S. See the attached brochure as evidence of serious malignant plans. Huh? So, Jero Spring is one of the uh, missing people, guys. From the present time. And he's writing to Mr. Void. There is still a Mr. Mr. Void around. He's writing to a Mr. Void. But I thought the family is all dead. But apparently not. Okay, we are missing a uh, puzzle ring. Oh, oh, it's right there. Oh, I didn't see it. Alright, now, rotate the rings to match up the constellations. Okay, the middle one does not rotate, guys. You're going already, Jusuni. Uh, good luck with your homework. 
I'll see you tomorrow, perhaps. Thank you again for your uh, continuing support as a member. That looks pretty good. Uh, oh, oh, maybe not. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Hold on, that's not right. There. Alright, this is better. Yeah, I think that is it. Is this not good enough? Uh, maybe I need. I'm not too precise here. Maybe. <laughs> oh, there we go! Wow. You need to match up every single detail. That one is correct. This one is still not perfect. There. There. <laughs> Done. 